if you look at the words aspire, now aspire is actually an object. It's the point of a church that usually has, say, a cross or another metal object on it. Now, aspire is something that would be metal. It would be sticking up on the point of a church. And a lot of people say those points or even a cross, like an antenna, is there to conduct electricity down into the church. And of course, the churches have been suspected of being slightly obfuscated over time where many people would believe, say, that the church roofs that are copper and the sort of, there's a particular kind of stone as well that you can build churches out of that are, they conduct electricity very well. But beyond that, if we go to the word aspire or even inspire, so someone's saying, I need inspiration or it was inspirational it's based on the same word. Inspire means sort of you having a spire on the inside. Inspire, just like a church spire, is again a metal object that conducts electricity down into it. Inspiration, or to inspire you, you need to be charged with electricity. You need to get your charge up and the people who, the misleaders, <laughs> to be kind to them, uh, I think if you called them psychopaths, a psychopath might uh, sue for defamation of character. So the misleaders today know how to drain you of your electrical charge. They know how to work on the invisible realm, even with your money. If your money is in the bank, they can steal it without even accessing your bank account or going into the bank physically. They would just print money out of nowhere. This is part of the fractional reserve banking system. And in the, in the act of printing money themselves, they actually steal the value of your money that is in the bank without putting their physical hands on it. So they're, they're masters of disempowering you, so removing your power, another electrical term, and leaving you powerless so you don't have any inspiration to conduct or live sort of your best life. And th this group, like beyond inflation, which is the devaluation of your saved money, based on them printing money and giving it to their friends, that is an act of magic because they're taking and stealing the value of your money without putting their hands on it. And they do that in the same way by using certain words against you, certain terms, and let's just say if they called you biologically faulty or per se, let's say the medical paradigm that says you are born genetically faulty and the best you can do is take their pills and potions handed out by the people in the white butcher coats. Have you noticed it's the same butcher coat as the butcher down at your local meat market? Have you noticed that? And so you take in all these ideas, someone could say you're born a sinner. Now I believe in the foundational principles of religion, morality, treat each other, treat others as you would like to be treated yourself. But I don't, I don't believe that religion in general has been uh, unscathed by the misleaders. And I believe their fingerprints uh, in regards to stealing your energy, stealing your inspiration, stealing your charge. Their fingerprints can be found all over phrases like you were born a sinner and sinners deserve punishment because there is no religion that says you were born amazing and, and go into the world to do amazing things. And I think that says it all right there. I don't think we got to get into any deep philosophical arguments and people should be very careful 
of the words that they live out or believe is truth. They really want to comb over what's empowering or disempowering, what gives you inspiration, what takes your inspiration away, what leaves you feeling disempowered, and what gives you that motivation, that big harumph push to go out and do amazing things in your life. So if you're look if you're feeling disempowered today, just go over your belief systems, go over who you're interacting with, the media you take in, and know, let's take Netflix, for example. People pay for it. So it doesn't look like there's any big agenda. It looks like it's a free will sort of purchase. But everything on Netflix is dark, depressing, it's dysfunctional, it's fear-based, it's terror-based, it's sacrifice-based, it's murder-based. And if you watch it, you're going to get disempowered, your electricity is going to go down, your charge, your value, your work ethic, your view of life. And it, again, it's the invisible siphoning of your life force or your electrical charge. Siphoning, it's, they siphon it out of you and you don't notice. Like when you get up from watching Netflix, you look exactly the same, but you're not. You're, there's something missing, something etheric, which means something electrical, something invisible, something magical is missing from you and it's sort of unquantifiable, but it is missing because you're gonna have less motivation, less passion, less enthusiasm, and, and less drive and less, uh, less ambition to do something and make something of your life. So pay attention to the invisible impacts that leave you feeling tired or powerless or demotivated they're very important. They make up a large percentage of the attack that's going on today in this modern fifth generation warfare model that we're all we're all engaged in right now. We're all in this psyop together. If you need any more information like this, feel free to email me personally at support at freedomfromselfsabotage.com. Get on my private email list and I'll share with you some other secrets of word magic, how to overcome your self-sabotage, how to execute your dreams, and hopefully help you live a better life. This is Jason Christoph signing off. Thank you for listening.